hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome back to another video so in today's video we'll be talking about the cost to study medicine in jamaica so basically we're just going to be talking about the other like the financial side to it so basically the side that most people don't address people don't really talk about it we just know so, all right medical school is there and basically i'll just be telling you guys how much medical school costs in jamaica so if you're interested just like comment share and subscribe all right so let me begin all right so basically in jamaica there are three medical schools you have the ue medical school you have um cs msj basically that is the caribbean school of medical sciences jamaica and then you have the other school which is in saint elizabeth and it's called um all american institute of medical sciences right we keep on forgetting the name but it's all american institute of medical sciences so basically in jamaica there are three options to study medicine not just like other medical related degrees but specifically to become a doctor so basically um you have ue the ue medical school which is the most popular one where most people know about and basically you is in kingston slash st andrew and the other medical school caribbean school of medical sciences that one is also in kingston it's on i think shortwood road and then the other one the all american um institute of medical sciences they are in st elizabeth now basically um these three schools vary a lot and one of the get-go differences that I'll say is the University of the West Indies, UE. They, when you finish a medical degree at UE, you get basically um, an MBBS degree. So that's basically Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. If you choose to go to the Caribbean School of Medical Sciences, you're going to graduate with an MD degree, which is basically a Doctor of Medicine. And if you go to the other school in St. Elizabeth, it's basically going to be an MD degree that you'll get at the end. And now I'll just explain to you what's the difference with the MBBS and the MD. Basically, it's the same thing, but the MBBS follows more of, I'd say, like the British um, side, while MD is like the degree that they use in um, America and Canada. So it's kind of the same thing but it just depends on where in the world you are at so basically the mbbs should be equivalent to the md if you get what i say right yeah so that's basically the main difference between them all right so basically so basically let's talk about requirements so the requirements to go to ue the ue medical school is actually two units of care biology and chemistry is a must and one other um cape subject right having that you have physics at at, at um the csec level now for um cmsj they are so basically see when i was researching it the c c s m s j caribbean school of medical sciences because their system follows the american and the canadian kind of like um curriculum i'd say so basically the difference with um caribbean school of medical sciences and other school in saint elizabeth is that basically in the us and in canada the way how they do things is that usually you get a bachelor's degree first and then you do your md degree that is how america and canada traditionally did it right but jamaica is a bit different because ue you can just leave school with a cape and go straight to a medical school, which, as you can see, it's a, it's a bit different. But basically, um, yeah, but basically with the Caribbean School of Medical Sciences, they actually require you to either, these are the general requirements now, you know. And by the way, everything I'm saying in this video will be linked down below. So basically, um, they can require you to have a bachelor's degree in the natural sciences, meaning something, maybe, maybe biology, chemistry, physics, something like that, in order to get access to their MD degree, right? So that is like their requirement in order to get access to their MD degree. And basically, if you don't have the bachelor's degree, 
what I saw that they had was that they have an associate um associate degree program, right? But it's only specific to their institution. So basically, it, it's like a shortcut. So for example, you're done fifth form, you finish grade eleven, and yes, alright, me now go to Cape, and you just want to go straight to medical school, and so you choose Caribbean School of Medical Sciences. So you don't want to go to your medical school or the other one. And yes, alright, me I got this one. Basically, instead of getting a full bachelor's degree elsewhere, you can do their associate degree, which is two years, and then get access to um, their medical school, right? That's what I saw on the website. And I think that if you did keep there some like entrance test or something like that for the MD program. But as I said, don't take my word for it. All the links are going to be down below in the description. Just go ahead and click on it. Call them. When you go on the website, you're going to see them number everything. Call them and verify everything, right? So the school in Black River, I guess it would follow the same kind of like pattern as the MD US system. So basically the school that's in St. Elizabeth, but that's at Black River, the other medical school, which I mean I think most people don't even know about that medical school. But basically it would follow the US curriculum since it would be awarding an MD degree right but either way let's move past admission requirements and all that stuff and let's talk about the actual tuition fees so now let's start with the ue medical school in order to study the mbbs program at ue so basically there's two patterns you have the sponsored and you have the non-sponsored students so i don't remember the exact amount of students that they admit each year for that program but basically only third only about 30 so basically only about 30 students out of the entire cohort will get that sponsored tuition fee so basically sponsored and non-sponsored so what i heard is that basically the highest the most competitive grades will be chosen for the sponsored spot and so basically that can be anyone from jamaica like for example they have really competitive cape grades like straight ones everything that straight ones all the way so for students or even if they went to Cytex, for example they entered UE and they went to the faculty of science and technology and they got just got straight A's all over then someone like that would basically be the type of candidate that would get the sponsored spot Right, so the sponsored spot makes you pay less money, right? But that's about, that's less than half of the entire cohort that gets to pay that money. So for example, if it's 200 spots for that MBBS program, it means that about, only about 30 will be paying the sponsored money. Everybody else has to go find a bigger amount, right? Let's talk about money. So this, for the sponsored spot, they would pay $736,996. As of the 2023-2024 academic year for UE, the sponsored students. So for basically only about 30 students, but I heard that maybe the the spots are gonna decrease that get the sponsored spot. So basically, I heard that it might decrease over time, but who knows? But basically, yeah. But that is what they pay per academic year. That does not include dorm fees or anything like that. That is just tuition fees. So now someone who got accepted for the same MBBS program, if they did not get a sponsored spot, which means that majority of students who get accepted will not get a sponsored spot, would pay basically twenty-eight thousand US dollars, which is the equivalent to four point three million Jamaican dollars per year, basically, for someone who got accepted with a non-sponsored spot, and that would be you have to pay that out of pocket to get student loan borrow money from our boat basically in order to pay that money okay now for the caribbean school of medical sciences their md program you will pay if you did the associate route so basically it would be five thousand six hundred dollars us per year if you did the associate program so you would pay five thousand six hundred dollars times two and basically it basically 5600 us is equivalent to 865,000 jamaican dollars per year for the associate program 
Now, if you finish your associate program and actually go on to do the MD at the Caribbean School of Medical Sciences, you will pay 18,000 US dollars per year for the first two years, right? First two years. Right? And so basically, um, so basically 18,000 US the first year, 18,000 US the second year, third year you'd pay 24,000 US, and then fourth year you'd pay 24,000 US. So in total, if you go to the Caribbean School of Medical Sciences without um, doing CAPE or a first degree or anything, you're going to spend basically six years, two for the associate, and then four for the MD degree, right? Then the last school we're going to talk about money is the All-American Institute of Medical Sciences, the one that's in St. Elizabeth. And their website was a bit, like, it kind of tricky, but basically what I got from the website on how much it cost basically it would be 18,000 US dollars per year for their MD program but basically um, the All American Institute of Medical Sciences they have different like routes they'll take you from high school take you with a first degree there are different um, routes to enter the program from their institution right so that's probably would be the biggest difference now um, Basically, with the All-American Institute of Medical Sciences. So, for example, one of the requirements that it had was basically you can get accepted to their MD program if you have at least two academic years of university. Basically, 90 credit hours including the following subjects, English, Biology, General Chemistry, Organic Chemistry, and Physics. So, for example, you go, you go to some other university, and so you complete those two years at the university, you did biochem, physics, and you also did English, right? Then chemistry, organic, and general chemistry, then you basically have a chance of getting admitted to their, um, their school, basically, right? Now, there are many ways you can fund your education in Jamaica. You can take out student loan. Student loan only give one million Jamaica dollar per year. You can get it from a family member, or if you're rich like that, you you don't know, work and do something, right? Now, in my situation, when I went to UE, I went with the SciTech route at UE. I went there, I guess for the, the main purpose of me choosing UE was actually to do medicine. But, let's just say that that $4.3 million is is a big stretch it is a big stretch so in my situation basically when you're applying to UE for the MBBS program they require you to have this financial question you're filled out basically it's how you're going to fund yourself the 28,000 US per year for five years because the MBBS degree is five years and so in my situation now it was just not possible 28,000 US per year times five. You get me I say? Two, four, six, eight, over 100,000 US dollars in order to finish that degree, basically. Right? So, for in my situation, it just, it just would work out. Right? And so, there are other options. You can finish your first degree and then you go back and do medicine afterwards and all these things. But basically, this is what it actually costs to study medicine in Jamaica. Most people don't know this. Most people, like, for me, when I grew up, and me used to say, oh, I don't want to do medicine and all these things. Basically, people would say, you know, some medicine is expensive, right? And would I say, yeah, I know some medicine is expensive, but it's different when you actually hear a value, but you never expect. You know, you expect it to be expensive, but... You never expect expensive, 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 which was what happened in my situation. But basically, that was, that's it basically, right? That's it basically. So there are other options and there are other things I can do if I can afford, if you can afford it, the $4.3 million per year, go ahead and do it. But in my situation at this point in my life, it don't make sense to me and is a far far stretch that 4.3 million dollars does not include your dorm fees the food we are eat for the rest of the academic year and it's 4.3 million dollars per year for five years 
five years. Do the maths, people. Do the maths. That's a lot of money. That is car money and every money times five years, right? Basically, that is what it costs to study medicine in Jamaica. If this video was at all informative, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And basically, that's the end of today's video. Bye, guys.